Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day three of the, or oh, day four. Hi, oh, yeah, day four of the December Leco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and apparently I've done it before, so let me not look at it and reset it before I go. Uh, yeah, I guess this is a recent contest form. Anyway, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this form. I feel like this is recent just because the number's way high. Let me also check, see any bonus points, no bonus points. Uh, the contest apparently is in two hours or something. But yeah, um, hope everyone's doing okay. I actually, if, if my angle today is very weird, it's because I um, I uh, I popped my calf. So I think I t have a tear in my calves. Uh, so I'm, I'm having trouble walking a little bit. So I'm trying to do the rice elevation thing. So my, my calf is actually on the table uh, uh, that side. And that's why I like, and it's up right now. Luckily, I have good flexibility, I think. So, but it's still very awkward. Uh, uh, you can't really see it, and maybe that's for the best because my my kitchen is a mess anyway. So yeah, but you can see my leg. Oh, okay, whatever. Okay, you get the point. Anyway, uh, uh, oh geez. Sorry, friends. This is the uh, the beauty of doing this live, I suppose. Uh, okay, so today's problem is minimum average difference. So you're given an uh, array of nums of length and the average just difference of index i and average the average difference of the index i is the absolute difference between the average of the first i plus one nums and the average of the last i plus one nums both averages should be uh round down okay so does that include the current i let's take a look to see the explanations um index zero is you go to two over one so okay and then five plus okay uh okay so and then you round down okay mm, i mean there are a couple of ways you can do it but yeah it's just about left sum and, and right sum right so left is equal to zero right is equal to sum of nums and then for x in nums uh and maybe answer is equal to do, 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 do. um the idea is that the sum you know average is just to sum some over the count right and then the count you could figure it out maybe i don't know um and maybe we could just make it explicit as well um is equal to zero right c is equal to length of nums maybe right um yeah and then i have to see what the last number is maybe last number is just zero minus zero okay yeah that's a little bit awkward but um yeah so in this case, we want left, we increment by x, left c, increment by 1, um, right, we subtract from x, because for some reason, index 0 doesn't have whatever, so yeah. Um, and then answer, we append absolute of um, left over left c minus right over right c, right? And this will miss the last item, but let's give it a spin real quick to see, oh. I guess on the last one, this would be zero. So yeah, um, mm, eh, eh. I, I guess we don't miss the last one, do we? Huh? Expected three. Oh wait, what are we returning? Oh, the minimum average, the index with the minimum average difference. Okay, but let's at least take a look. I mean, while we have it, we take a look, right? Three two two zero one four. That looks good. I'm looking at the explanation here, and in this case, well, this case is just a trivial case. So we're pretty good. Um, now we want the index of the smallest, right? So we just kind of keep track of um, best is the minimum, right? So it's just some big infinity number. I always use this number. I don't. I don't know. People have been copying, but uh, which is fine. I don't know. Um, yeah, something like this, right? And then. Maybe just some uh, score is equal to this. We don't need this anymore. I don't need you anymore. Uh, is there anything where I have to return now? Okay. Um, so yeah, so this is the score. If score is less than best, then best is equal to score. Best index is equal to this index, which is uh, technically left C, I think, minus one. But, but we probably could have just used uh, index on the enumerate if we want to be less sloppy about it. Let's give it a spin. 
Hopefully this is good. It is good. 978 day streak. Yay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think, wow. Yeah, okay. So I, I special case it out, but it's the same idea. I, actually, I don't like the way that I did it here because I was just being lazy. The idea being that uh, uh, in here, right is going to be zero anyway because there's no numbers. Um, so that's why I kind of did this way. Is it kind of? A, I don't know if I'm happy with that hack, at least in terms of explaining stuff at home. Um, but otherwise, you can see very clearly that this is linear time, uh, constant space. Um, we only have a couple of variables. We only have a couple of variables. And yeah, and this is linear time. This is linear time. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not going to do an extra problem today because I am I'm hearing, so I have to to do the food situation a little bit, figure it out. Uh, the contest is in two hours. I'll see if I'm going to do it just because I don't feel so well right now and maybe just rest a little bit. Um, but if you are doing the contest, uh, good luck and all that stuff. And wish me good luck if I'm doing the contest as well. Uh, I'll see you later. So uh, take care uh, to good health, to good mental health. Uh, I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.